open source and closed source software. So what's the difference? Fundamentally, open source is this. You can see under the bonnet. You can see what's going on. You can see the source code. So we can see the source on it, hence its name open source software, and the source is like the code. And Ubuntu and VLC are all examples of open source software. So what category, or, you know, what, uh, what makes them? Well, they're free. Usually they're free, or they ask for a slight donation. Um, it's hard to charge someone if you're going to show them the source code. They're non-profit for the greater good. The idea is that a group of people get together to make a piece of software that is the best piece of software they can make. Now, because different people um, are working on this project, you get greater innovation. If you've got people from different walks of life approaching the same problem, then they're all going to see it slightly differently, which should lead to greater innovation. The only problem with this is more popular so software tends to be more reliable. So if something's used by a lot of people, that's going to have a lot of attention, and a lot of the bugs will be worked out, and it's going to therefore be more reliable. More um, independent, maybe just sitting in the background, random software that people have made won't have that attention to it and maybe won't be as reliable. So there could be these errors. And errors might be important or they might not be, but if it's a security risk, you've got to think about are you going to use that piece of software? If you're using data sensitive um, information, so customers' details, you want to make sure that that's secure, otherwise, you can end up getting sued. There's going to be no documentation with it. There's going to be no instruction book that says you need to do this, this, this. This is how you set it all up. This is what it does. There'll be no warranty and no customer support. There won't be a helpline you can go to to help you. Closed source is basically this. You're not seeing what's going on. It works, but you don't know how it works. And legally, it's probably protected that you can't look at the, the source code. Okay, we call this proprietary software. So it is usually copyrighted. You will get in serious trouble if you have access to the source. They don't usually let you have it, but replicating it or using the source code will get you in uh, legal trouble. But it does come with warranties and documentation. So use it as an instruction book, um, as a guarantee with it. It's well tested. If you're a company that's making software, if you get reputation of software that crashes, you aren't going to last very long. So people are paid to test the software and people expect regular updates and fixes so you put out some software let's say windows for example you obviously don't see it now but updates are happening in the background making it more efficient as things come along new hardware comes out updates are released so that software works with that hardware and it's cheaper than developing your own software if you pay someone to build some software just for you that's going to be expensive but if it's out of the box if you can just get it from somewhere then that's cheaper so let's say you want a piece of software that allows you to write letters. Well, it's cheaper just to go and buy Office and use Word. Cost is an issue. It's not free like um, open source software. The software may not match exactly what you want. So you, let's use Office as an example. You want some software for writing a letter, but you have to buy the whole Office package. So you're buying things that you don't necessarily need. You don't want to use PowerPoint and you don't want to use Excel. Software tends to expire so that um, you have to buy new versions of the software or it stops being supported. So old versions of Windows XP now aren't being supported. And that's fine if your system's sitting alone you don't need it updating. But if you want to keep up with the modern world, then you need to be able to interact with new pieces of software.